Miss Smith doesn't like that the girls are more interested in taking photos than in studying. The amount of likes doesn't influence their grade. They need to do something nice for Miss Smith immediately. We have uh -huh. a nice pointer just for that. Cut chewy candies and connect them to make one long candy. Wrap a chopstick with it and even out the layer. Apply food glitter on top. It's not a good idea to approach Miss Smith when she's mad. She destroys everything in her path. She even breaks the pointer. <laughs> but now she understands that this is not a regular mm. pointer. The girls made a sweet present for her. Candies calm Miss Smith down. Mm. Her mood gets better after every piece of the pointer. She turns into a kind teacher. And this means that they are free to take unlimited selfies. Dolly has read too many comic books for sure. Does she think that she's Wolverine? Hmm. No way! She just has new markers, and they are not regular. They come with a surprise. Mm -hmm. Pour candies out of their tubes. Cut the tube to be of the same size as a marker. Make a plug from chewy candy. Paint the tube with acrylic paint and put the candies inside. Cover the tube with a marker cap. Make a few markers of different colors. These markers have a secret superpower. They turn into sweets. Dolly has an entire team of them. Every marker stores uh -huh. candies. <laughs> Jessica is keeping up too. Her exquisite school supply cup is any sweet tooth's dream. Melt dark chocolate in a double boiler. Spread the chocolate evenly inside a paper cup. Put it into a freezer. Remove the paper cup when the chocolate hardens. Cover the chocolate cup with honey and attach icing lace. <laughs> the cup is so chocolatey oh. that uh -huh. Jessica can't resist biting it right in class. This cup is perfect for storing the sweet markers. It's a match made in heaven. Dolly also bites off a piece of the cup. Well, it's unlikely that it will last till the end of the school day. We have a clay sculpture class. You can make any food from light clay. Dolly is disappointed. She's gotten hungry and can't be satisfied by clay food. But Jessica has a lot of fun with her clay. She made a red pepper and she bravely bites it off. What is her secret? Melt chewy candies in a microwave. Mix them so that the texture is even. Add a drop of food coloring and put it into a Ziploc bag. Make bags with candies of different colors. It's easy! It turns out that Jessica's clay is edible. It's made from stretchy candies. She gives some of the sweet clay to Dolly and sculpture class becomes way more delicious right away. Dolly hands in her notebooks to be checked. Mm. Sebastian finds handmade bookmarks inside. <laughs> so cute! His mom made the same one. But it's edible! What a coincidence! Dolly's bookmark is made according to the same recipe. Cut wafer paper into strips. Color them with food markers. Or sprinkle them with food paint. Sebastian crunches on a bookmark and checks the homework. Chewing must make his brain work better. The girls have nailed their homework and deserve the highest grades. So they get a present from their teacher as a bonus. Sebastian is kind enough to give them a few markers. Happy Dolly goes back to her desk. She wants to cheer Jessica up. We've got good grades and funny markers. One of the markers turns out to have a sweet surprise inside. Take the wadding out of a marker. Clean the body. Put in a foil plug and add candies. Sweet candies fall out of the marker. The teacher knows a lot about his students. He knows that candies are the best reward for them. Now the girls will work even harder. The girls turn to different tricks to make their class more fun. They have brought a sweet cash to the school today. It's a jewelry box. But there are some precious sweets inside instead of jewelry. Cut out the pages of a notebook. 
cover the cuts with paper strips. Hot glue pieces of cardboard to the top and bottom of the cutout part to make a pocket. Make a box out of cardboard so that it's of the same size as the pocket. Attach a ribbon loop. Put the box into the jewelry case. Hmm. There are delicious candies hidden in our notebook stash. But Miss Smith is already hmm. on guard. She takes away all hmm. the candies. Still, the girls don't get sad. The best part is that they still have the magical jewelry wow. box. And it means that they won't run out of candy. <laughs> Jessica needs a triangle ruler. She is using everything that could possibly have angles. But the drawing is still not oh. perfect. And meanwhile, Redhead crunches on her wafer, hmm. which is perfectly shaped. Hmm. Take one layer off a big wafer. Cover it with filling. Cut a triangle out of wafer paper. Attach it to the wafer and cut off the excess. Draw hatch marks with a food marker so that it looks like a ruler. Jessica hears the crunch of geometry right near her. This is exactly what she needs. The triangular ruler is made from wafers, but it's still even. You can make a flawless angle with it. The most important thing is to not cover your notebook with crumbs. Dolly has a delicious Toblerone, but school rules don't allow any food in class. You have to act carefully. We will hide it in a notebook. No, it's beyond the margin. Maybe we can put it into a cup? Now it looks like the peak of a mountain. We need to come up with a different option. Jessica's love for geometry isn't in vain. She has a triangular solution. Uh -huh. Take an empty triangular pencil box, print out an image of pencils, and attach them to the window of the box. Put a Toblerone inside. A triangular box is perfect for the chocolate. Now we shouldn't be afraid of the teacher's angry look. The Toblerone works undercover mm. like a real spy. The teacher sees nothing but a box of pencils. Jessica's paper plane is very flimsy. It was damaged during an attack in world history class. We need to fix its landing gear right now. Dolly lends her some tape, but she forgets about the most important thing. This tape is actually a candy case. Cover the inside of a double-sided tape roll with regular tape. Cover it with honey and attach jelly candy belts. Jessica finds out the second function of the tape. Dolly mm. understands that her sweet stash was uncovered when she hears some chewing sounds. Mm. She needs to take it back before Jessica finishes mm. everything. She leaves only the sticky tape for her friend. The plate repair was a success. The friends have such huge creative potential. They paint modern pictures. And when the masterpiece is done, they pamper themselves. Let's eat a few paints as a snack. Cut circles out of gold cardboard from chocolate so that they fit the cells on a paint palette. Put the circles into the palette. Melt marshmallows in a microwave. Add soft butter and powdered sugar. Shape the mass into little balls. Add food coloring into each. Fill the palette. Press the balls to shape them like paints. You can paint not only a landscape with these paints, but also your tongue. Now that's what we call body art. A colorful mood is guaranteed. <laughs> Jessica has a special art product hidden for the final touch. This is a contour paste with a chocolate shade. Cut an empty writing icing tube and clean it thoroughly. Fill it with Nutella. Fasten it with hot glue. Cover the tube with acrylic paint. Print out a contour paste label that says Nutella and attach it. Jessica adds mm. her writing gel to her friend's painting. Now Dolly's art smells like chocolate. This class is so boring, but if you have a pencil case with a sweet secret, then you will quickly become interested in studying. Wow! Yay! Put candies and school supplies into a pencil case. 
add a logo. Shally suggests having a sweet snack. You can find all your favorite chocolates for a school picnic in her pencil case. Dolly munches so loudly hmm. that the teacher no. comes up. We just happen to have the last chocolate left to please him. Help yourself, Sebastian. Take a sweet break from your teaching career. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is a lot to do at school, as always. We have to like new photos, talk about what we did on vacation, and come up with new ways to prank the teacher. By the way, here she comes. We have to hide all of our stuff under the desk right now. Oops, who is it? Meet our new teacher, Miss Elizabeth. Wow, she looks attractive. But where is our beloved Miss Smith? Apparently, she's not back from her vacation yet. Even the new teacher can't make us get rid of old habits. Chewing in class became a tradition. Cindy's got bubble gum. But we are not sure about a possible reaction of the new teacher. This is why we use a secret <laughs> bubble gum holder. Coat a tape dispenser with acrylic paint. Put a paper ring onto the holder and wind a hubba bubba strip around it. Assemble the dispenser and take out the end of the gum. My bubble gum is hidden nicely. Hubba bubba instead of the tape. But it's hard to play a trick on Miss Elizabeth. I really like it. I think I'll keep it. She takes the tape dispenser, tears off a piece, and puts it into her mouth. The new teacher enjoys blowing a big bubble in class. Cindy erases her pencil with a regular eraser. So boring! Take my sweet mamba eraser. Attach four chewy candies to each other using gelatin glue. Wrap the block with a cardboard strip having an eraser name on it. Hot glue the end. Cindy can't figure out what's so special about my eraser. Is it made out of candy? Miss Elizabeth needs an eraser. Where is it? She will have to ask the girls for it. She takes the sweet eraser by accident. Oops. She will find out our secret now. But the teacher likes Mamba too. She eats the entire candy gladly. Redhead needs a knife right now. She wants to cut off all her loose ends she has at school. But Cindy doesn't have a proper tool. Maybe Miss Elizabeth has a knife. Roll out a sour rainbow belt and cut it off at an angle. Cut off the excess to make it the same size as the utility knife blade. Make a small hole at the bottom. Take apart a utility knife. Attach the sour belt instead of the blade and put it onto the knife. Our new teacher has not only a sharp eye, but also a sharp knife. Uh huh. She kindly gives us the rainbow knife. I take out the blade. It looks like unicorn school supplies. It bends suspiciously and smells like a candy. It's dangerous to take food from the knife blade, but this blade is so tempting itself. Miss Elizabeth can prank her new students, too. <laughs> Dolly sneaked food into class on her clothes. She made a sweet brooch. <laughs> Don't worry, our new teacher won't mind it. Need fondant and make a circle. Hot glue a back pin on a felt strip. Trim the edge using a round cutter. Cover the fondant with confectionery glue and attach small candies of different shapes and colors to the brooch. Dolly worries that the new teacher will take her accessory. But Miss Elizabeth likes gummies too. Unfortunately, her candy bag has gotten empty. But she sees a sweet brooch on her student. Excellent! Redhead assures her friend that she has nothing to worry about. 
The new teacher is very friendly when it comes to candies in class. She is not angry with Dolly for the brooch. On the contrary, she asks her to share. You can consider it as a teacher's tax on food in class. Now you can keep eating your candies. See? I told you she's cute. Dolly adores donuts. It's a pity this donut on the pen is not edible, but everything becomes possible with our new teacher. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth prepares a sweet prank on her student when Dolly asks permission to go out. Soak jelly powder in water and stir. Put sprinkles into a donut mold and pour in the jelly. Let it harden. Redhead and the new teacher ganged up on Dolly. They sneak a pen with the jelly donut onto Dolly's desk. It looks so delicious. Dolly comes back to the class. And where is her pen? What is it? Did a jelly donut actually hmm, appear on her what? pen instead of the eraser cap? Miss Elizabeth knows how to cheer up her students. Okay, Dolly. Take your pen. And return the jelly donut to the teacher. I need to glue my paper craft. My hmm. friend's glue stick looks weird as always. Where does she get her school supplies? Hmm. Probably from some mysterious store. Clean an empty glue stick thoroughly. Add dry food coloring to half an ounce of gelatin. Put in half an ounce of sugar. And add some citric acid. Pour in some water and stir. Pour the jelly into the stick and let it harden. I want to glue a piece of paper, but Cindy takes her glue away. This is actually fruit jelly. You can't use it as the glue, but you can have a tasty snack with it in class. It's boiling hot. The girls start sweating after thinking too hard. They need to come up with something. Where is my fridge bag? Cut out two felt rectangles, a smaller and a bigger one. Round one side of the smaller rectangle. Hot glue the details to a piece of black felt. Apply hot glue to the bottom and to the sides to make two pockets. Cut off the excess. Trace the top curve on a black foam rubber sheet. And cut out three strips. Hot glue them to the top of the pink felt. Add other black foam rubber details to make it look like a fridge door. Fasten Velcro tapes to the top parts of the pockets. Cut the back part, side panels, and the bottom of the bag out of the black felt. Hot glue to assemble the bag. Add a felt handle. Print out the names for fridge sections and attach refrigerator and freezer labels to the top and the bottom pockets. Cindy takes out her fridge-shaped bag and takes an ice cream from the freezer. It's exactly what I need on such a hot day. She takes out a chocolate bar from the fridge section for herself. This bag is so handy. You know at once that there is a snack here. The class is over and it's time to go home. Redhead puts her school supplies into a pencil case. But it's not just a pencil case. It's a big yellow piece of cheese. Cut pencil case details out of a yellow foam rubber sheet. Rectangles of two and a half inches wide, elongated triangles with identical sides and a four inch base. And rectangles two and a half inches by four inches. Hot glue the details to get a wedge of cheese. Attach two rectangular sides to one triangle. Add another triangle. Assemble a 3D detail. Cover the back. Attach a Velcro tape to the pointed end. Punch the second set of details with a hole puncher. Make it look like holes on real cheese. Details to the cheese pencil case. Why has Redhead hidden her pencils case for so long? This Parmesan pencil case looks great in pictures. We are getting delicious photos with it. Miss Elizabeth notices too. She likes her new students. They are as funny as she is. This is why she wants to make a surprise for them. 
real cheese sandwiches instead of the cheese pencil case. See you next time at school. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dolly and Cindy are real sweet tooths. They turn class into a candy paradise. <laughs> But Miss Penny Poppins appears out of nowhere and makes them forget about food. Sweet life is over. All candies will be brought to the principal's office right now. Miss Penny Poppins introduces a new diet. No sugar in class. The only thing we should digest in class is knowledge. Dolly needs some shine in her notes. Perfect. Cindy has glittering glue. And one more tube that's a little strange. It will make not only your notes nice, but also your tongue. <laughs> Wait, don't try to glue your tongue right away. Here, take my glue instead. It's edible. Empty glitter glue tubes and clean them thoroughly. Pour Sprite into a glass. Put colorful food glitter into the clean tubes. Fill a dropper with Sprite and pour it into the tube. Make a few containers with colorful glitter. The girls drink <laughs> glittering cocktails out of the glue tubes. Miss Penny Poppins wasn't expecting this turn of events. She rushes to give first aid, but there is no need for that. The girls are all right. You should also have a glittering cocktail. But Miss hmm. Penny Poppins turns the offer down. Hmm. Teachers don't look good with glittering tongues. The girls decide to munch on some pens. Take long Twizzlers and fondant of the same colors. Shape it into cones. Cut a ballpoint pen refill. Make a hole in the fondant using an awl and stick the refill inside. Insert the tip of the pen into the candy. These are actually sweet pens. And the best part is that Miss Penny Poppins can't accuse us of anything because we use them to take notes. But our teacher is the real deal. She easily bites a blackboard sponge when she sees how skillfully we bite off pens. Cut a sponge cake in half. Roll out orange fondant to make a thick layer. Cut it to be the same size as the sponge. Attach the fondant and sponge together with buttercream. Add a label with black food coloring. The teacher takes up the challenge. She eats a blackboard sponge. And she earns some respect in our sweet challenge. Biting off a piece of a pen doesn't seem like such a creative idea now. Our teacher feels her power over the world. An earthquake starts once she shakes the globe. Oh, what's going on? Penny opens up the globe. Now all of humankind is in her hands. Take a globe off its stand and cut it along the equator. Put some gummy men inside. Close and put it back on the stand. Miss Penny Poppins ruthlessly eats the nations of the world. She has already eaten Diego, Jessica, and Vasily Petrovich. It looks like she's never going to stop. And now she eats Cindy, too. No! Dolly is next in line. Say goodbye. Ahem, <clears throat> it looks like someone got tired. Wake up, Miss Penny Poppins. Enough sleeping. Shape Frutella candies into headphones. Lightly sprinkle them with cornstarch. Unwind a gummy wheel. And divide it in half lengthwise. Tie one strip in the middle of the other one. And fasten the knot with a Frutella ring. Shape a plug. Make a hole with a toothpick. And stick one end of the gummy wire into it. Use a toothpick to copy speakers on the headphones. Add left and right signs with a black food marker. 
and define the speakers. Attach the earphones to the wire with edible glue. Draw threads on the plug with a marker. The girls are just watching an educational video on a phone. The teacher should watch it too. Hurry up, Miss Penny Poppins. You mm -hmm. have to see this and listen to it. Hurry up, put on the headphones. It's strange. The teacher can't hear anything for some reason. The only thing she can hear is Dolly munching. She has already eaten half of the wire. Miss Penny Poppins is amazed by how much her students love technology. Dolly gets wires and Cindy eats the earbuds. <laughs> Where's that sound coming from? That's not a school bell. Or maybe it's somebody reading aloud or scratching their head. It's actually the girls chewing gum because they've got a perfect disguise. Paint a tape dispenser pink. Print an image of Hubba Bubba and cut it out and attach it to both sides of the dispenser. Everyone knows that blowing bubbles in class is not allowed, but Miss Penny Poppins definitely hears someone munching. And here is the evidence, a pack of Hubba Bubba. The girls get busted. Calm down, Miss Teacher, it's just tape. We know a ton of ways to sneak sweets into class. For example, this stylish keychain. I bite it off right from the pencil case. But Miss Penny Poppins is always a step ahead. She started using this technique for the brooch on her blazer a long time ago. Take cube-shaped jelly candies. Dissolve confectionery glue in water. Make a cut in the candy and attach a keychain ring inside. Attach a badge pin to the other candy. It turns out that our idea is not that new. Bravo, Miss Penny Poppins! You are a school life hack professional, too! Miss Penny Poppins also loves crunching on school supplies. For example, she eats a few magnets from the blackboard. Take fondant of bright colors. We've got red, yellow, and green. Make circles with a round cutter. Make a groove along the edge with a modeling tool and color the circle inside with black food coloring. Make it look like a magnet. Paint smiles on the backside with food coloring. Now it's time for the girls to be amazed. Mm. Eating so many magnets at once? That much plastic can poison you! Miss Penny Poppin's secret is that the magnets are made from fondant, so they won't harm your stomach. Mm -hmm. Dolly really wants to eat candies, but how can she do it without anyone noticing? Miss Penny Poppins will definitely notice. Cindy has an idea. She treats Dolly with thumbtacks. <laughs> Take thumbtacks out of a container. Draw a layout of a rectangular box on cardboard. Cut it out and bend using a ruler. Glue the box into the container where the label is. Glue the corners. Put candies inside. Fill the empty part of the plastic container with thumbtacks. It looks like Cindy studied too much and ran out of brain power. Everyone knows that eating thumbtacks is very dangerous. Ha! Ah, Dolly clearly doesn't understand anything about being sneaky. No one's making you prick your tongue with a thumbtack. There are actually candies <laughs> hidden in this box. <laughs> I will borrow a pencil sharpener from my friend, but something is wrong with it. It's not a pencil sharpener, it's a box of Tic Tacs. Put Tic Tacs into a big pencil sharpener. Close the cap. Miss Penny Poppins is on the hunt for sweets. She takes away our innocent pencil sharpener according to her new rules. There won't be any sweets on this desk. The pencil sharpener is sent to the camp of sweet outcasts in the bottom drawer of the teacher's desk. Miss Penny Poppins has a habit. She loves using her teeth to open markers. We can use that for our next <laughs> prank. Add a drop of blue food coloring to fondant and knead it. Roll it out to make a thick twist. Cut one end off. 
Make a groove inside. Make a clip from one more piece of fondant and attach it to the cap. Dolly sneaks her marker with sweet cap to the teacher. <laughs> Miss Penny Poppins can't tell the difference even when she has her glasses on, but once she bites the cap, as she usually does, she figures out that it's not plastic. She ate some blue coloring. The girls won't get away with it this time. The revenge of the blue cuttlefish awaits. Run for your lives!